Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. So we're going to be building a counter in React.js. So as you can see right now on your screen, I just have a H1 tag which is displaying hello world. But what I'm going to do is I'll replace this and I'll just write give it give a number over here. Let me give a P tag and the number zero in between. Okay. And the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to give two buttons. All right. So one button which is going to increase the number. And I'll give another button to decrease the. Okay, so right now I just uh, I'm actually gonna give this replace this P with an H1 tag. Okay, so I have a number zero. So when I click on increase, the number should increase. When I click on decrease, the number should decrease. But that's not gonna happen. Let me show you how exactly. So. We need to create a variable because this number is going to change from time to time. So what we need to do is on the top beside react, we need to import a hook called use state. All right. So use state is basically how you declare a variable in react JS. So don't freak out. What I need to do is I'll simply write const. I'm going to give a square bracket and I'm going to name this variable zero. So I'm going to name it number and you give a method. So I'll write set number. So set number can be used to increase uh, to actually change the value of the variable number. It's going to make sense in a second. Then I'm going to do equals to use state and I'll give an initial value of zero. All right. So now if I replace this zero over here and instead of zero, I write number, then it's going to show me zero because numbers initial value is zero and I can use set number to change the value. Let's say I, all right. So what I'm going to do is when I click on increase, I want to run a function. So I'll write on click. I want to run a function add. Okay. And when I click the decrease button, I want to run a function subtract or sub. Okay. Now I'm going to tell the react that what this add and subtract is going to do. So what I'll do is I'll create an arrow function const add equals to. All right. This is just a glorified way of it is the ES6 way of writing functions. So what this function is going to do, it's going to set number to number plus one. So what's so it's simply going to take the number plus one. So set number is used to set the value of number. And I'm going to give another function const sub equals to give it an arrow function and write set number to number minus one. Okay, so now if I click on increase, the number should increase. When I click on decrease, the number should decrease. Yeah, so it's working. Very simple. Now, that is basically how hooks work. So to summarize, we have declared a variable number. We are using set number to change the value of number. When I'm clicking on increase button, I'm running a function add. When I click on decrease button I'm running a function sub okay now we can also give it a few styling options so what I can do is I'll go to app CSS and maybe I'll give it a display of flex maybe yeah I can do that so let's give it a display flex okay yeah and I'll give it a height of 100 view height, right? And I'll give it justify icon. No, actually, align items to center and justify content to center. Okay, now let's see what's happening. Okay, nothing is happening. Oh, because the class name is capital A. Okay, now it should work. Yeah, 
now it's in the center oh why is this why is zero beside the buttons oh i actually have to put the buttons inside a div so what i'll do is i'll put them inside a div all right control x control v so now these buttons are inside the div and what i'll do is i'll give it a flex direction of column okay now it looks much better let's give it a background color of blue i don't like dark blue let's give it something yeah i think this should work yeah that's better and let's give buttons a color button a color as well okay so i'm gonna give it let's give it a background color of red okay okay and let's give it a color of white color of white means the color of text so yeah and let's actually give them a little bit of margin i'm gonna give it a margin of 10 pixels yeah looks much better all right so yeah it's working pretty simple smooth so i hope you understood what what's happening over here we are just using a use state hook to increase and decrease the number variable okay so that is how it's going thank you so much for watching the video i hope you learned something from this